Hello everyone, this is Kimmy Wyatt and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you guys exactly how this proof that this is organized crime. Uh, don't have much time on this phone so let me hurry up. Okay, this life fixture no longer works. Ever since I've been here, five managers, five managers. It was working when I first came here. A white lady was the manager. Once I moved in and got settled, this light and a different fixture they had here before has not worked continuously. This is brand new, just like that one over there. They just put them around the whole complex. When I call and complain that the light fixture has been, uh, either the bulb or the fixture has been manipulated, they come and fix it. This is new. This has been here less than a month or right at a month. And this is the second one they've put here. The first one was taken down above my head, okay, taken down, and they put a new one here, and now it's not working either. It is dark. I have a flashlight in my hand. It is dark as hell out here, okay? This is a street. You see the cars passing by? Okay, this is my freaking front door. It is dark. And then here's the coup de gras. Okay, in other words, that light over there, somebody keeps manipulating it. Ever since I've been here, they will manipulate like that manipulate that light because they're out here watching me in my apartment without my consent, looking at their phones, and they'll even get up against the wall. And, and when they see me move towards my front door, this is when they'll leave and run off this way or run off up the stairs or do something or run around the corner. So let me tell you this too. My breaker, one of the switches of my breaker, this is my light outside. It will not come on. Went to sleep. It was working fine when I went to sleep. And how I know it was working fine is because it goes to two of the lights. The two lights in my kitchen was working impeccable. Nothing wrong with it. I get up to turn my kitchen light on. This is about going on three weeks ago. I get up to turn my, well, two. I go on to turn my kitchen light on and they won't come on and come and check this light outside a day later, forgetting that the switch goes to this light as well, the electrical the electrical um, breaker switch. And, uh, and, I, and, and on back up, I didn't even know it was the breaker switch until something said, check the breaker switch. I checked the breaker switch because this is what prompted me to check the breaker switch when I noticed that this light will not come on. Isn't that ironic? That the person that was watching my things when I leave, we got into it. They know he's no longer around. That he's not visiting me, no longer in my life. And all of a sudden, this light will not come on anymore. And this one over here keeps getting manipulated. No matter how many times they fix it, replace it, replace the bulb. That's just two things I had to show you. Okay. This is really the coup de gras. Hold on. And I had to get the flashlight for out here, but in here too. Okay, you guys, I have cut my hand two times on that little piece right there that's sticking out. Y'all see it right here? Because I got attacked by the same guy that I just mentioned that was watching my things when I would leave. Okay, I had another video to show you before. This was white. This is my the front of my front door. Okay, notice my door is brown and this is white. What he was, he was supposed to put a full plate here because this guy um, kicked in this door uh, and he was supposed to put a full plate here. No plate here at all, but he puts this temporary plate here, changes the type of, of doorknob I had to this one, which could be suspect because it could be some kind of, um, it doesn't have a brand name on it, and it, it could be some kind of camera doorknob from the inside. Who knows? Okay. Didn't ask him to do that, but he did it. It was nothing wrong with, with, with the handle. And even if it was, you know, let me know that's what you're going to do. But he came back, told me he was going to lunch because I looked at it like, what the? F First of all, he didn't even put all the, put the screws in all the way. You guys see the screw? I wish I can point to it. Oh, here it is right here. Hold on. I'm going to try to hold this in point. You guys see this screw right here? It's not even all the way in. 
and this one's not all the way in. And then he cut the freaking part that's supposed to go all the way around to the back. This is a plate. He cut it. And then another maintenance guy who I'd never seen before came and cut it, thought I was complaining about something. And he cut it again. And look, this is sticking out right here. He cut it again. You guys, and the plate is supposed to go all the way around the back. Am I, am I right? It makes a C. Anybody can bring their ass in here using a crowbar or something. Why in the fuck would you cut my plate and just have it showing in the front? Why would you do that? Very suspect. This is why I tell you guys, look, look, it's not going around the back. Let me show you. This is the back. This is the part he, the, that it protects. And this is the front. Okay. It's supposed to wrap around her. You guys have seen these many times. As a matter of fact, I'm going to show you. Hold on. I'm walking in my kitchen. Okay. This is how the hell that's supposed to look. Not necessarily white. But this is my back door. And if I open my back door, this is how it's supposed to wrap around the door. Now, it's brown here, but it's been painted on this side. And, okay, that side is still brown. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can see it. This side is still brown. But on the inside, it's painted to match the other part of the door you guys see that why the hell why in the hell why in the hell would he do that you know why i have been telling you guys the whole time that this is organized crime okay no offense to the manager here at this complex let me say that out of all the five managers that i have had some of them good some of them over the top bad I mean, even being shot at this manager is absolutely wonderful. Okay. Changes, change of pace for the people here. No, I haven't heard anything bad about her. What's going on. You guys It's organized crime. She's Hispanic as well. So when I say this, I don't want you guys thinking that I hate Hispanics or anything like this. This is just my life. And this is who's been fucking with me. This is who has been messing with me initially. And it is what it is. But most maintenance guys are of Hispanic descent, Guatemalan, Salvadorian, Honduran, Mexican, uh, Mexican descent, uh, uh, and even even uh, gypsies who portray Mexican. OK, not saying gypsies are maintenance guys. They could be. But gypsies portray Hispanics. You guys. Why did they do my lock like that? My door. I mean, these apartments are just really, really run down. And for those of you, well, Kimi just moved. Okay. <laughs> well, I was about to say it a different way. Where's the money? You got the money. For, I'm going to tell you something. If you got the money for me to move, I'm up out of here. And uh, over 70% of the shit in here is not going with me. Over 70. More like, more like over 80. So you got the money for me to move. I'm gone. But if you don't have the money for me to move, shut up. Or if you're not going to <laughs> supply me with the money to move, shut up. Seriously, everybody got a solution, but they don't have a solution. You know, it's easy for people to look at someone's life and say, why don't you move? I'm not stupid. I wouldn't even. I, first of all, I was, I was only supposed to be here a year. Then COVID came. No, no place was leasing. No place was doing it. You couldn't even come into places to look at a place, you know, or I would have been gone, y'all. But that doesn't mean a damn thing because it's called gang stalking. Okay. It's called the gang stalking. And as time goes by, you learn this and learn this. I have learned so much in every one of my places that I've lived about gang stalking that I can write a book on these idiots. Like I've told you guys before, I can literally write a book on them. And I'm going to try to clean my phone for some reason. The, the, the lens looks like it's doing its own thing. Or it could be this jacked up door i don't know but this is organized crime this is what i keep telling you guys organized crime this idiot above my head has this hispanic guy living with him the one's been following me all for eight years but he's not up there remember he's not up there <laughs> really really itch yeah he's up there and you sure can't change your voice to sound like barry white you know what i'm saying and but what i'm saying is you guys, organized crime, all this idiot has to do, conning, demon, is call them and, and get with maintenance, whether they're involved or not. 
He's Hispanic. They're Hispanic. They listen to this and it's an organization. They are fully aware, especially Hispanic men, that women are being spied on in their freaking apartment. They're participating in it. A predominant amount of them are participating in it, especially when it comes to maintenance crew. They're participating in it because they have access maintenance to the person's home via keys. They're making keys of these women's homes. They're coming in with bump keys. If, if maintenance is not down with them or whatever, or, or, or she's changed her locks on her own, look up bump keys. One of the terms, if you scroll down where the text is posted for the video, you will find some terms, T E R M S look up those terms. You guys become more aware of what's going on. We need to change the laws. And I've said this and, and, and my last, one of the last videos I did that I haven't published up yet. We need to get, go to Congress, all of us gang stalking victims, and all of us targeted individuals because it's expanding. They're expanding and we're expanding the numbers, okay, of victims and the numbers of idiots that are, are committing the crime or ex is expanding. Once they have a crew that doesn't want to follow you and, and spy on you and they're realizing, man, this woman hasn't done this. Is up, 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 and they kind of fade away from the, from, from the higher tier idiot. They're going to get a new crew. They're going to recycle and get a new crew. A new unsuspecting crew that wants to watch you. You know, this is, they, they, they get rid of them, leave them alone. Don't say anything to them because you don't want to get them upset because they can rat on them. But, but just get a new crew or add to that crew. This is, this is, this is fucking organized crime. Who in the hell would put a door and trust me, this has been cleaned. This is not coming off. This is paint that's gone. And the door really needs to be replaced, period, anyway. But who in the hell would put that on this door? And you can tell there was one here before one here who would put that on this door and cut it so that it couldn't come around to the back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who would do that? Why would you cut that when it was a whole plate? You know why? Because at some point I have to leave and I've already told them, I'm not going any damn where unless somebody is in my apartment. You can hang it up because I'll cover up something or do something, something to cover my body up. And they want to come in and change it. Uh, walls. If I cover up a, a, a camera on the wall, an area, they want to come in and, you know, you know, do their thing in my apartment. No, the fuck you're not. Okay. See, that's, that's amazing. So anyway, I'm going to go. I just have documentation. You guys documentation, everything, document everything. Gang stalking victims, please uh, get you an extra phone. Make sure that you have it in safe mode because in most phones you can record in safe mode so that it doesn't get, I got so many videos coming up for you guys. I'm, I'm, I'm so that it doesn't get deleted you know, get, and, and get you, um, uh, um, an SD card and put it in there. Don't keep it in there, but put it in there and transfer or make a copy and put it on the SD card. So you'll have a copy on the SD card and a copy on your phone. I'm talking your videos, your pictures, document every fucking thing that happens to you guys. I'm telling you everything. If it looks suspect like this, document it. You have no clue how if you have to bust a cap in somebody's ass or head, how your documentation is going to work out in your favor. Now, don't go out there and do something because you're documenting stuff, but do it as a backup to help you, you know, in, in a case or something. Anything goes down.